External Affairs Minister uh, Dr. S. Jay Shankar slammed Congress leader Rahul Gandhi for his comments relating to China during his recent visit to the UK. He said he is troubled to see him drooling over China while being dismissive about India. Dr. Jay Shankar said that Rahul Gandhi's one-word description of China was harmony, while his one-word description of India was discord. He also said India is the first country to consult the rest of the world on what they want from G20 and that G20 should not be an arena for the global north. A lot of interesting remarks uh, that he made at the India Today conclave uh, while speaking to Rahul Kanwal. You know, I only caught about half the conversation, but I think the two things that kind of stand out are, you know, his remarks on Rahul Gandhi and China. And he's right when he says that, you know, more people should be sort of alarmed or uh, anxious or scared about what uh, Rahul Gandhi is saying, right? I mean, a prominent politician, you know, speaking at an international avenue, uh, sort of praising a competitor while, uh, you know, putting down our own um, status is definitely something that doesn't bode well for uh, India as a nation. You know, I mean, of course, there were other remarks where he called him a panda hugger and uh, all of that stuff. To use Dr. Pillsbury's term, when panda huggers try to be China hawks, it doesn't fly. You know, on a serious note, I think this is... Uh, this is definitely a fissure that, you know, others can exploit, right? I mean, they, they have been already, in fact, uh, right? Uh, and on the China front, I think he has uh, made it very clear that, you know, they had uh, he had discussions with uh, the foreign minister for China, Wang Yi, earlier and that, uh, you know, they haven't really delivered. So we've all seen what's happened uh, on the border situation with the skirmishes and everything, right? And one of the things that he mentioned was that... Uh, you know, the development of the border area, right? I mean, the amount of budget has gone up by uh, something like three or four times uh, uh, over the last four, five years uh, itself, which is, again, significant, right? And and he says that, you know, uh, one of the uh, opposition's uh, points was that, hey, leave it undeveloped so that China will not feel like, uh, <laughs> you know, annexing it, right? Which is ridiculous. These are the same opponents who said, let's leave the border undeveloped so that the Chinese can't come. Or if they come in, they can't come in so... Uh, so, so fast. These are the same opponents. So yeah, and in the same vein, you know, Rahul Gandhi also praised the whole uh, Belt and Road Initiative and all of that stuff, right? Talking about how they are connecting the borderlands and everything. So I think it's, you know, you could call it confused, but I think there is a sort of a sort of a narrative being aligned to, you know, what the what our competitors would uh, really benefit from, you know, uh, when you look at the opposition's vein of. Uh, uh, or about positioning on some of these things, uh, right? Uh, so, yeah, as usual, Dr. Jay Shankar uh, uh, made some very interesting remarks. I mean, the man definitely has a way with the words, right? Uh, and I, I don't know, I haven't seen too many people articulate India's position as uh, well as him. So, I definitely encourage you to check out the India Today Conclave conversation. I think it was uh, wonderful. I th in parts, there is just absolute silence uh, when he says some of these things, which is also such a treasure, you know, perhaps given the audience uh, own leanings. Right? So we should have like a weekly section on like Jai Shankar <laughs> comments on Bharat Vata, yeah. <laughs> right? Because I think every week he comes up and obviously he has a way with words, but he hits the nail on the head. As you mentioned, two, three things, right? So one is like Rahul Gandhi, where he says like, he has been, he went to Cambridge and he says that, oh, we need to be saved or India needs to be saved. Then he talks about like, oh, China is doing such a good, such a good job, etc. Right. So he doesn't have any comments to say on how India could be delivering better for Indians or what is his plan to do a better job. India has like a thousand problems or like a million problems. Right. And uh, obviously what this current government has done. And I actually personally have uh, been to Ladakh last year and uh, seen the quality of roads out there. And I felt like, why can't Mumbai have better roads? But you go and you look at the people. They're all proud to be Indians. They feel that this kind of investment, which has happened very f fast, uh, has actually transformed their lives. You see Enrega funds being used to build houses. You see all the Yojanas, Pradhan Mantri, Gram Sadak Yojana going into the outside the highways, into the village roads, the small houses being built uh, under another uh, scheme. You see solar panels and solar water heaters uh, being distributed. And you see a lot of uh, lending which was being done, uh, where which I would recommend everyone. Uh, I think the same is in Arunachal Pradesh and that's on my bucket list next is uh, a lot of young entrepreneurs, they've been told that you can take, 
you can take out a loan and buy like a few motorcycles and rent it out to tourists. And these are all under government schemes, which earlier were not available, right? And this has led to like more tourism coming in, uh, locals getting a little wealthier. Uh, so their standard of life is improved. And if that happens, they're proud to be Indians. If on the other hand, if they are undeveloped and they see across the border, uh, if China has better infrastructure, people are better off, they will have sympathies to go and move towards being Chinese, right? And you don't want that, right? You don't want that. Uh, this is an integral part of India. So I think all this expenditure is probably 60 years too late, but we can't go back. So the second best time is now. And uh, so best time was 60 years ago. Second best time is now. And we are doing that, right? It's it's only when the railway bridge in Chennai was being built, we discovered lithium. That was a happy coincidence. And uh, maybe that transforms uh, the state of Jammu as well, Jammu and Kashmir as well. But these are the things where I think the government is doing a great job and you don't have an alternative viewpoint or something how to improve things, right? So I think that's why you're going outside and trying and doing, uh, making those random stupid comments. And I think Jai Shankar has a very good uh, understanding of uh, Rahul Gandhi's own limitations. And uh, he is the most articulate minister in the current cabinet, right? And uh, that's saying something. Given Modi himself is quite articulate, Modi keeps quiet a lot of times. Uh, he says few things, but says them well. And uh, Jai Shankar, external affairs uh, minister, has been the kind of vocal spokesperson for this cabinet.